hey people you are welcome back to my channel so this is the sewing part of the video i will, if you have not watched the drafting part of it the link is attached in the description box okay the cutting part of the video is um is actually attached in this uh video at the description box so, so just go ahead and watch it before you come and watch the sewing part of it okay so guys this is the front lining and i will just go ahead and first of all fold the down part with half inch go ahead and fold yours fold the down part of your lining with half inch before you come and proceed okay so guys what i'll do now is after that i'll go ahead and sew my crush area after i must have attached after i must have stitched the down part of the video i'll go ahead and sew my crush area then i'll join both and both the front crush area together i will also repeat the same thing for the back piece okay i also repeat the same thing i'll hem it down with half inch then i will i will place the uh, the, the main fabric on it and and sew the crush area i will also do the same thing to the other one after which i will join both of them together and i will sew the crush area together So guys, to hold down the the main fabric, that is the lace. I will be using the gum you are seeing now. Okay, that is B six thousand. Okay, I will use it to hold down my material. Okay, so I'll just apply some of it on the lining, just like you see me doing. After which, I will then I will then place my main fabric on it. That is the lace. I will place it on it guys before you do this one make sure you must have you must have hemmed the down part of your lining okay do not make the mistake hem the part of your lining before you proceed okay you can see what i did there i, I left a little bit of space so that i can be able to hem mine so i also repeat the same thing here i will apply the gum then i will arrange my material on, on it this is the way I sew my lace. There's no need of me as in suffering myself. Like this is the way I make mine. Okay. And it's really coming out nice. So I will also apply it that side and I will allow it to cool down. Then I'll stitch it around. Right. Then I'll continue. You can see the allowance I left. That is for me to be able to stitch the down part of the lining. I also repeat the same thing for the back piece. The same thing I just did now. I will do it okay. The front piece, actually, the, the front piece and not the back piece. Try not to make a mistake, okay? So, I will apply the gum. I will apply the gum. Then I'll place the fabric, the lace on it. Take your time, okay. Make sure you apply you 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 are um you are placing the lace on the right part of the lining, okay. So I'll just do that. Then I'll place the, the remaining one. That is the lace. I'll place it. Okay, that is it. See, sitting pretty. Guys, this is how I make. This is how I, I normally attach my lace. So now, once it's dried up. I will just go ahead and stitch it right round. You can even leave it. You might not even stitch it right round. Just proceed. So guys, this is it. This is the this is the back piece. You can see I've already stitched it and also sewn my crotch area and also my dart. You can see this is the front. You can see. See, this is the inner part. I will later 
with that side off once I'm done sewing right so the next thing to do now is to join the two pieces together then I'll first of all arrange it together then I will sew the side first the two sides first I will start sewing from the waist area down okay waist area down then I'll leave about seven inches okay I will decide where I will leave seven inches for my zipper allowance okay my zipper will be at the side and not at the back that is the that is the allowance I left you can see that so I've already gone ahead to stitch it then the next thing to do now is to align the crush area together making sure that everything is equal then I'll start sewing it from the center to the other side okay center to the end and the other center to the end remember the back piece is always bigger than the front piece okay so just join both of them together equally and you sew after which I will go ahead and attach my band but first of all I will measure the waist area just like you see me doing so that I will know the length of the band okay I will just go ahead and measure it right round I have that eight and a half then I will cut my band so to cut my band I will also be using the material I use for the lace for the inner part that is the brighter satin or dull face then I will I will chalk down that 8.5 just like I measured then I'll, I'll give it a straight line now the width of the band will be 4 inches okay I made it 4 inches okay the width of my band is 4 inches okay so when I fold it I will have 2 inches I'm just marking my starting line I'm marking my starting line then from there I will measure four inches four inches all down four inches the band will be unfold okay but I'm as I'm cutting it now is not unfold please it's not unfold so I just marked four inches all through So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So this is my band. I'll also go ahead and trim off those sides. And also the other side. okay so what we have now is four inches okay that is the width and the length is at 8.5 so now when i fold it i will have two inches so I've also i've also gone ahead to cut the same thing on my lace material okay on my lace fabric so now i also use my gum to hold it down i will apply the gum on the doll face that is the bridal satin all through after which I will be placing my lace on it. The right side of the lace will be up. Okay, the right side of the lace will be up. Alright. Even the even the palazzo part that I placed, the right side is also up. I forgot to tell you guys that the right side is also up when I was placing it so do not get confused so i'll just go ahead and trim up those excesses then we will continue so guys i've also gone ahead to fold it into two and i've stitched it all around all through because i don't want the i don't want threads to be coming out okay this is actually a lace material so i want to give it a neat finishing so i would attach it like so all through then i will hem it